Hi students, in this video I will teach you about how to read a micrometer. A micrometer is used to take very precise measurements. It has this classic shape that looks like a B from your perspective, or a D or P or whatever. First, we will go ahead and introduce the major parts of a micrometer. They are frame, anvil, spindle, sleeve, thimble, ratchet, and finally, the locking lever. Well, before we start, we need to make sure it is calibrated. That is, when it's completely closed, it is actually sitting on zero. If I start to turn the thimble, you can see that the anvil and spindle are opening up. The spindle moves, but the anvil does not. The object to be measured is placed between the anvil's face and the spindle's face. The ratchet is turned clockwise until the object is held between these two surfaces. And when the ratchet makes a clicking noise, this means that it cannot be tightened anymore and that the measurement can be taken. You can put an object which could be up to 25 mm in length between the anvil and the spindle. Unlock the spindle with this lever here. Let's take a closer look at the sleeve scale. You will notice that there are two sets of marks and a line. The marks above the line are millimeters. The marks below the lines are half millimeters. If I turn the thimble completely one loop, I actually move only 50 gradations on this side. And over here, you'll see that there's a beginning of a line appearing. And that line represents half a millimeter. In other words, each of these gradations is actually 0.01 millimeters. If I spin it around another complete turn like so, I've now spun it around twice. This is now opened up by one millimeter, and if you look carefully enough, you'll see the one millimeter line division. Now, let's put all this together and try to figure out what this micrometer is reading. First, the sleeve scale plus something. This something comes from the thimble scale. Now, let's take the readings. In this example, the diameter of the shown wire is 1 plus 0.07 millimeters. Here, the diameter of the pen is 7 plus 0.42 millimeters.
Now take a few seconds and try to take the diameter of the marker. 